Hello and a warm welcome to all the viewers of Markets and Money Control. I am Mariam Faruqi and this is the segment where we tell you all the latest happenings on the last street. Today Indian markets were off to a positive start but then they erased the opening earnings. This is the seventh straight session of losses. What is dragging the markets? All that and more you will find out here. But first a look at the headlines. Uh, Indian Army has carried out another strike alongside Myanmar border. Reacting to this, Sensex fell 400 points. In a scathing attack, former Finance Minister Yashwin Sinha and BJP veteran also has slammed the uh, working of the Indian government. And uh, these were some of the updates. Now let's get chatting with Money Control Editor Santosh Nair and find out what moved the markets. Hi Santosh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mariam. So there's blood on the street and as I mentioned earlier, a seven straight day of losses. So, you know, what is making these streets so nervous? Well, one way, uh, if, if you look at it, yes, you're right, it's seven straight sessions of losses. Uh, but if you look at it the other way, the Nifty has fallen uh, about, let's say, 450 points from the top. Still, it's just about three and a half percent. So, uh, while it may look as if the correction has been very severe, in relative terms, it's still not all that much. Uh, what really could have triggered the slide today uh, would have been uh, the FNO expiry. Global markets were uh, pretty much steady today. Uh, they didn't do much, uh, although it was expected that probably uh, geopolitical tensions could further weigh down uh, sentiment in global markets, but that really didn't happen. Most Asian markets uh, ended just about mixed and European markets are trading firm. It's more of technical factors at play back in India. Already the news flow had been getting worse over the last few days. Almost every single macro indicator was uh, giving a rather negative outlook on the economy. Add to that today you had the FNO expiry and probably that is what led to the huge sell-off which saw the Nifty breaking two key support levels in a single trading session. Now 9820 and 9750 were supposed to be fairly strong support levels. The Nifty managed to break both of them and that's probably what has technical analysts a bit worried. Uh, right, uh, so uh, like investors are cautious. So can we tell them uh, how did the markets perform today? So it uh, started on a fairly uh, steady note and it, uh, at one point it did look like uh, it would be quite a dull session and then uh, you had the sudden uh, wave of sell-off which didn't halt and when you had news of the Indian army uh, carrying out strikes alongside the Myanmar border that seemed to worsen sentiment further and, and the market just capitulated in the last, uh, in the second half of the trading session. Across the board uh, you are you're very heavy selling. The worst hit sectors today were Realty, Pharma and uh, Capital Goods. Now uh, LNT Chief AM Nike yesterday had said that uh, don't expect an economic revival at least for the next couple of years as uh, companies are busy sorting out their balance sheet problems. So that uh, clearly weighed on uh, Capital Goods stock. They took a beating. The big loser of the day clearly Pharma shares, uh, they suffered the maximum losses. Right. So uh, for our viewers, a quick check on gainers and losers? So pharma was the biggest loser today uh, in mid-cap stocks. You had DVs plunging about 10% on news that the US FDA had made six observations on its WISAC Unit 2. Also Sun Pharma said at its AGM today that uh, gave a rather tepid outlook for growth in the current year and said that uh, there would be a slight decline in earnings. So that also spooked sentiment for the sector in general. Sun Pharma was among the biggest losers in the nifty basket down by about 3%. But uh, across the board, it was mostly the losers list was dominated by pharma stocks. You also saw very heavy selling in NBFC stocks. So the, this is also a sector which has enjoyed very juicy valuations, has seen a very good run up over the last couple of months. Now, these stocks too took a beating today. Reliance Capital was one of the big losers down by about 6%. Uh, L&T Finance hold, Holdings uh, crashed about 4.4%. Edelweiss that was down about 6%. Uh, it had uh, opened on a very firm note earlier in the day. But towards the end, that too came under selling pressure. So clearly, the mood is uh, uh, bearish. Uh, you could see uh, domestic inflow still remaining strong for some more time. But uh, in the absence of a lot of negative macro data, uh, in the near term, probably you might not see the index uh, coming close to its near all-time high uh, anytime soon. Uh, thank you, Santosh. That's all for now. But for more cues, views and analysis, log on to moneycontrol.com.